Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K. So this is the flagship of the Arrow Lake generation, the latest CPU generation from Intel. These are pretty good for productivity with the new and improved E-Cores. However, you do get a reduction in total thread count because the P-Cores on these no longer have the hyper-threading feature. So if you're comparing this to like a previous generation i9, either a 13900K or a 14900K, you're actually going to get less total threads on the new CPU, but it uses less power, and it does about the same in multi-thread performance. Gaming is gonna be a little bit slower on this compared to the previous generation Intel. It's about 5% slower than the competing uh, 9950X from AMD, and then it's about 15% or so slower than the X3D CPUs from AMD. So currently, if you are looking for a gaming CPU, I would recommend the AMD options. I think they have a much better value proposition there, especially with the new X870E motherboards. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Intel Core Ultra. Let's see what you get in the packaging. So similar to the previous generation, on the back you can see a little window of the CPU there. So we can see in there it is the Intel Core Ultra 285K. It is magnetic, so you just kind of lift it up on the back and then it just opens up like this. And it's kind of sloppy here where it just kind of comes off. There's like a plastic recyclable thing here and it's, they're going for this like diamond aesthetic or hexagon aesthetic this time around with the packaging. So there is the documentation in here which includes the Intel Core Ultra 9 sticker. So you get one of those. So a case sticker there with some info, a limited uh, warranty, that kind of stuff is in there. So that's what's inside the main thing, but then the CPU itself is locked inside this little hexagon thing and it just kind of opens up. And uh, normally it would be secured in there, but this one seems like it was not secured. So anyway, that is it. There is the CPU itself. I don't know if this is gonna focus. There we go. So LGA 1851, this is not compatible with previous generation Z790 or Z690 motherboards. So if you do want to upgrade to this, you are going to have to buy a brand new motherboard in addition to brand new DDR5 memory. This CPU does not support DDR4, so unlike the 13th and the 14th gen and the 12th gen CPUs, all those three previous generation CPUs support DDR4 or DDR5. So you had the option to carry over your old DDR4 memory. This time you cannot do that. It is very similar to AMD's Zen 5 and Zen 4, where it requires DDR5. So that's pretty much it. Overall, the packaging is very similar to last year's 14900K. The only difference is last time we got this very fancy silicon looking wafer thing, which had the CPU inside. So uh, that is gonna be it for the unboxing. So a little bit lower end looking uh, packaging, but it is still a step up from what you get if you buy a Core Ultra 7 or a Core Ultra 5. So if you guys found this video useful, we will do some videos regarding the CPU and put it to the test, maybe do some overclocking guides, that sort of thing. But let me know what you guys plan on upgrading to. The graphics cards are on the way. So we will be covering graphics cards in the near future. We may do a PC build video with this, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments regarding the new Intel Core Ultra series featuring the Arrow Lake architecture. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.